Today's show is brought to you by a new podcast produced by MJ Bulls Media called Hemp Barons. It's a weekly show about the hemp companies, products, and entrepreneurs who are using this amazing plant to change the world. Listen to a new show every Tuesday on iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. And if you like the show, please subscribe, rate, and review. My grandmother in 2015, she had her first epileptic seizure, and that scared the entire family so much because this is a lady that has never been sick, um, has never had anything wrong with her, and she was 96 years old at that time. She was super healthy, and I wanted to help her out, and I was in the cannabis industry at that time. So I called her up, and she said, well, look, I I know that you can help me, but Ryan, I do not want to get high. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. I'm Dan Humiston, and on today's show, how this veteran cannabis entrepreneur was inspired by his grandmother to create a true high-end CBD line of products. Today on Raising Cannabis Capital, we are joined by Ryan Beers and Oriana Leo from Nani's Nectar. Oriana and Ryan, welcome to the show. Hello. Hi, thanks for having us. Oh, it's our pleasure. Well, when I first got in the industry back in well, 2012, I'd never even heard of CBD, I got to admit. And I remember we did a trade show back in 2014, and I had a couple exhibitors who had CBD products and you know, maybe some speakers, but you know, it really wasn't a thing back then. And now fast forward six years <laughs> is definitely a thing. You know how you know it's a thing? It's when uh, you, you get some of my mom's friends or, will say to me, hey, I need to get some of that CBD stuff. <laughs> Where do I get it? <laughs> that's, it's like the true sign that this is happening. And, and, you know, that's not too far off from what prompted you guys to launch Nani's Nectar. Ryan, maybe you can tell us the story. So uh, Nani's Nectar was born in 2017, and that was all through my grandmother in 2015. She had her first epileptic seizure, and that scared the entire family so much because this is a lady that has never been sick, um, has never had anything wrong with her, and she was 96 years old at that time. She was super healthy, and I wanted to help her out, and I was in the cannabis industry at that time. So I called her up and she said, well, look, I I know that you can help me, but Ryan, I do not want to get high. So immediately I said, well, I'm going to have to get you high if I'm going to help you. Right after that, I started formulating and found some CBD on the market. It was very scarce at that time. I found it and started formulating and flew back down to Austin, Texas from Los Angeles and gave her her first full dose of CBD. And she never had a seizure again. She got off all of her medication and it worked. That's how Nani's Nectar was born. That is crazy. I hear that from a lot of people, seniors who are CBD curious, but they do not want to get high and they don't want it to mess with their other meds. And that's why I think having that confidence is so important. When I look at your website, it makes me feel confident. The way you've presented it, the way your, your products are designed. So a lot of design was done by my sister. She actually hand drew the logo. And then, of course, it gets into formulating. I like high-end things. I like luxury products. And so I wanted to take that approach. If I'm going to be putting this into my body and on my skin, I want to use the best products possible, best ingredients possible. And I wouldn't do anything less. Of course, I want to give this to everybody, open it up to the public. And I wouldn't uh, create these products if I wasn't going to be able to give it to my grandmother or to myself. We, we do a full-spectrum product, very high-end, all organic ingredients. Yeah, I think with the CBD market... I- it's hot. Everything it's in giant demand, but it oh, also yeah. means that the field is getting pretty crowded right now and you need to differentiate yourself and, and set yourself apart from the pack. And I get the sense that this is more of a high-end type of brand. That's of the market that you're after right now. Yes, yes. I wanted to be able to go into, you know, high-end whole food stores, for example, like Air One, and to be able to present that to that hiring client that wasn't going to bat an eye at something being costing, you know, $160 but it's the best of the best and it's going to work. It's super potent and I guarantee that it will work. Well, somebody has to be at the top end and and, and (laughs) it's it's, it's not a bad place to be. I see you mentioned that you're in a lot of brick and mortar. I see on your website that in addition to being able to purchase it online, 
you can buy it through some dispensaries. That's part of your to-market plan? When we first started the company, yes, we were in a bunch of different dispensaries in Los Angeles, but we are no longer allowed to be in the dispensaries. Ever since the Farm Bill passed, of course, everybody thought that they could get this anywhere. As a hemp company, we're not allowed to be in any of the dispensaries right now because that's all seed to sale, and that is cannabis CBD. Oh, we're a hemp-derived CBD. Okay, so the, the locations that are on your website, what are those? So a lot of those are brick-and-mortar stores, wholesalers that just have a little shop that sell our products and, and quickly be featured product at a lot of these stores. For example, Air One carries all of our products at about four of their locations right now. I want to take a quick break to thank all of our Raising Cannabis Capital listeners and to remind you that you can support the show by subscribing to MJ Bulls Premium. It's only $4.99 per month, and you gain access to all previous Raising Cannabis Capital episodes, as well as all other MJ Bulls produced podcasts and exclusive content, including companies' investor pitch decks. Go to mjbulls.com and enter promo code RAISING to get your first month free. Let's jump fast forward. Launching a brand or moving a brand from one level to the next level even in a market as hot as CBD is not easy and it's very expensive. Mm-hmm. All the costs are front loaded. You have to buy all your raw materials and pay for those. You have to pay for packaging and marketing and payroll on and on and on. And all these costs occur before you can even start selling to help you through this phase. Are you raising capital? So Ryan has self-funded the company up until now. He's been in the cannabis industry for the last 10 years and you know made his money there and was able to really invest and launch Nani's in 2017. But you're right, there has been tremendous market volatility when it comes to the stakeholders that we might want to do business with, vendors, etc., which has made it incredibly difficult to maintain a positive cash flow when you have tons of speed bumps, especially when it comes to payment processing issues. So we're actually launching our very first capital raise. It's a friend family round and we're raising $250,000 to invest in inventory and sales support to sell the inventory. (laughs) The main constraint that we're experiencing right now is that we do have orders, purchase orders from multiple location brick and mortar stores, and we don't have the inventory to fill it. So it's a pretty easy problem to solve, but we don't want to lose out. It's a huge land grab right now. And so for us, raising this capital helps us maintain momentum through that land grab onto maybe a Series B. Yeah. Man, what an easy deal for somebody. You've already done all you've done all the heavy lifting, <laughs> all the works in place, even order sitting there. And Nani's has done more than a million dollars in sales at this point. So it's a proven product. It's just a matter of finding the right distribution channels and making those relationships and filling orders. Through all of that, we've still got a five star rating. <laughs> you've still got a five star rating after all, all of that? our products have five star rated testimonials on our, our website. That really makes us feel like we're doing something right and keep our customers loyal. The smart thing that you're doing is you just, you found your lane. And as long as you stick Mm -hmm. to that lane, I think you're going to be fine. It's when you're trying to, you know, be something for everybody. Forget it. You're going to, it won't last. Well, we, we really enjoy this lane as well. I mean, dealing with all the people and I talk with all of the clients personally to guide them on the right dosing and really help them out because we are dealing with an older crowd. And because of the name, because of how it's helped my grandmother, a lot of people have attached themselves to that. And it's been amazing. This journey has been great. Now we just need to get to the next level and get some money. I don't think it'll be hard. I don't I either. I, I think fine. I, I think you'll be fine. <laughs> well, this I appreciate is, that. Yeah, it's not a big amount of money that you're raising. That You should be able to wrap that up really quickly based on where you are right now and what you've done. That's our goal is to wrap this round up in the next few weeks. Um, And if anyone listening to this is interested, they can reach us through our website. Yeah, well, I'll also have Ryan and Oriana's contact information on the MJ Bulls website and any investor. Yeah, we'll have have a whole page for you on our website. So you got to move quick on this one though, because it's not going to be around long. Oriana, Ryan, this is good stuff. It was really nice to talk to you today. Thanks for being on the show. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Raising Cannabis Capital. To learn more about today's guest or to become a guest, visit our website at mjbulls.com. Today's show was produced by MJ Bulls Media with original music produced in part by Jamie Humiston. I'm Dan Humiston, and you've been listening to the Raising Cannabis Capital podcast. 